As a kid, I couldn't travel. Planes, trains, automobiles, and anything that went in circles were a nightmare for me. Yet, years later, the fall of the Berlin Wall took me out of Queens and my childhood into the world as an aspiring photographer. Coming of age in the Reagan era, I was always confounded by what lay inside the Soviet Union. With my first book, Wonderland, I tried to portray the loss of a utopian dream. And as all fairy tales try to teach us, the hard lesson of independence. In some ways, that was my lesson too. Nowadays, I feel my life is divided from before 9-11 to after. My new book project, The Black Garden, is about monuments and mortality, and about the American empire spreading democracy throughout the East. It's also about myself as a secular Jew and evaporating rituals as I arrive at the arc of middle age, trying to gauge where I've been and where I need to go. So now I need to unravel everything that went before. Back over the Atlantic to the old world, to the ancient world of Alexander, and to the Ottoman Empire, the world of my ancestors, and further back to circles and shapes, back to foundations and cornerstones, to the idea of duality. That's the East-West divide. That's the Black Garden for me. For each project, I make a book mock-up to gauge my progress. I know I need to return to Turkey, the Levant, and the North African coast to complete my project. I need to get back out on the road again. I want to spend a year in that world photographing the texture of life as these people, like the Soviets, try to shed outdated tyrannies. My new book, The Black Garden, is the next chapter after Wonderland, from fairy tales to mythologies. It is an exploration of dark and light, of black and white, of the past, and of the world today.